multiculturalists will continue and share in detail uh, the project that he has implemented with a collaboration of other educators in our school. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Haralabos, and I am the mathematician of the School of Elephonesis. Hello, my name is Dimitra Fotinou, and I'm an English teacher at the High School of Elephonesis. And along with other colleagues, we have organized the following programs that we are going to discuss. We would like to share the pedagogic theory combined with ecology, and this is why the first slides discuss the social construction, which is a pedagogic proposal based on collaboration among people, it sees the social interactions as a mechanism for building up knowledge and strives to include people within a learning community where along the collaboration with uh, other people, uh, with other members, manages to become member of the society as a whole. So social construction is based on the theory of Vygotsky and then Brunner, who changed um, contemporary pedagogics. Both of them said that uh, social interactions that take place activate collective and individual learning mechanisms and help people become carrier of the language themselves. Both of them have um, invested on social interactions and on collaborative learning. And of course, this is uh, the first step in changing society. Since um, the environmental education, since to train people for the challenges of tomorrow and to allow people to receive that education and training in order to allow them to develop the skills needed to make a positive contribution to society. This is a lifelong learning process, which means that education will shape the citizens of the future, not only on a societal level, but also on an environmental level, and will help them um, tackle the challenges of the future. So the goals of environmental education are the following, to um, allow people to understand of their uh, biophysical environment. They should be aware of the environmental challenges and they should be ready to act responsibly in order to create a better environment for life and to promote the change of attitudes and values. Moreover, it brings forward the personal responsibility since each person is personally responsible for the preservation and improvement of the natural environment and the society. Moreover, each person should become familiar with the environment they find themselves, both the natural environment, the cultural and the historic, and to be able to appreciate the heritage that were bequeathed by the, uh, the ancestors and, of course, to try and move forward and disseminate the knowledge. So, environmental education in Greece is not something new. 
it uh, was founded, it was legal, institutionalized in 1990. Greek schools carry out environmental education programs with various topics in 1990 and every year with various means. According to the existing legislation, those who are responsible to uh, disseminate environmental knowledge are the uh, environmental educational centers, which are found usually in the biggest city of a prefecture. Th we have educators work there, and they have approved material in order to be used by schools and by any other any, anyone else. So, we were inspired to start by to start the working on those issues, since our school is rather isolated, since um, one needs to take the ferry to go on the other side. It requires a boat. So we wanted to train our pupils to uh, look outside on the other side. And environment, the natural environment, it, uh, we believed that it was a good idea. So we started to work on collaboration and we wanted to start uh, and learn uh, how we would be able to gain from the environment to take benefit but also to offer to the environment. So in collaboration with the municipality, with the parents, with the centers of environmental education and with other uh, schools, with global organizations and with other bodies, we decided to start from October and we have managed to conclude this project a few days ago. Here you can see our first actions. Of course, recycling is the beginning. We have been collaborating with the Center of Environmental Education of Molai. We wanted to allow not only pupils, but everyone, every citizen in Elafonisos to understand the uh, natural environment and the effects of overconsumption, to raise awareness among um, the waste management and to understand the necessity of recycling. The first action was recycling, as I have said. We tried to include pupils and the local society and to teach them what is recycling, why is recycling so important. We talked uh, for notions such as overconsumption, energy production, uh, about the materials that can be recycled, where, um, which bin is responsible for each uh, waste or package. I'm going to show you a short video, or rather, I cannot. However, we have produced a short video, and you can see the activity uh, on that image where pupils have to link uh, the waste to the relevant bin, that the plastic bottle goes to the blue bin, and the electric machine could go to the relevant also building, and batteries also to the uh, relevant being and there is also a video which shows the same example. Moreover, we started using from the first time since November the recycling bags and when we visited Athens we did uh, some training we did some visits with the pupils in order to show them more things this is the slide which might seem irrelevant to recycling however it is not it is called action Vefkalion. it is related with the floods Vefkalion in the Greek mythology was that hero uh, 
which a story similar to Noe's uh, story. Devkalin had to enclose himself in a ship to build a ship with his wife, and when they uh, uh, survived this flood, they uh, took the order to uh, throw stones, and from that stones uh, people were born, and this is how they repopulated the earth. The second action allowed pupils to collaborate and to understand how floods affect human lives. We discussed the human-made activities that cause problems and which are the effects for uh, humans. We discussed which are the indications, what happens before the flood, overgrazing, wildfires, um, rivers that um, have been um, blocked, uh, garbage and waste that do not allow the water to go towards the sea. On the right hand of the screen, you can see bad practices or examples to be avoided, which may uh, lead to flooding. Here you can see the effects uh, for human beings. You can see uh, floods uh, around the world, and the pictures speak for themselves. We wanted to make sure that we all understand that floods relate to us all. The first is a world map with the floods. The second image are depict the floods in Greece, and the third image is the flooding related to Evrotas River, which is located 50 kilometers away. We have also organized other educational actions that would allow kids to um, develop critical skill to raise awareness among our environmental issues and we have organized an experiential actions that groups pupil in four groups the municipal authorities the breeders the cattle stock breeders and the members of the environmental association That action bears the title Flooding in the um, Resort of Omorphonisos, which is a wordplay with Island of Elaphonisos. After the flood, the mayor invites the four groups of people to share their problems. The livestock breeders uh, conveys to the mayor that overgrazing led to the flooding. The people from the tourism um, admit that uh, the blockage of the rivers uh, causes problems. The uh, uh, ecological associations that have spoken after the problem and all those were registered uh, with questionnaires. We have um, here you can see some images from the classroom. You can see the four groups of people that um, worked. And the next action, action was our effort to measure the environmental footprint. We discussed personal responsibility, and uh, the pupils and the educators measured the environmental footprint in the class with an application that was built by the University of Thessaloniki. And we should stress that our pupils brought about good results and even better from the teachers sometimes. And pupils, when we visited Athens, calculated their environmental footprint in the uh, visit that we did in the Evgenides Foundation. Our next actions will focus on how the ships pollute the natural environment. It is very important for this specific area because Vatica and Telefonisos um, is a marine breeding, so to say, area. And it, there is an international 
Anchorage for ships uh, in the sea in front of uh, La Faunisus, and we know that a lot of pupils will end up as uh, working on ships in the marine industry, and we know that ships uh, produce pollution. We have organized it with a visit to the Museum of Maritime Tradition to, of Neapolis, and we had a seminar by the teacher uh, of the professional high school of uh, uh, Neapolis. The next action is the so-called Green City, how we can improve the quality of education that in order to allow pupils to give solutions and opportunities for the development of discussions on the nature preservation to avoid using plastics all the time, to know that we do not uh, let the water uh, flow when we wash our teeth, we turn off the tap, and any action that could help us improve the living conditions in a city, organic food, less cement, uh, concrete, um, we uh, say we try to save energy in the, with the household appliances, and we um, recycle, we sort our waste. Here you can see the tree planted actions and the collaboration with the municipality within the school that allowed pupils to understand what it is like to work on the natural environment. Our next action concerns the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the UN. We have chosen three goals, 7, 11, and 6, as well as the 12, 13, 14, and 15 are all connected on how we are going to improve the conditions and tackle climate change. We have discussed those goals in the class and then in our educational uh, visit in the Avianidis Foundation, we were able to learn more about those CDGs. At the same time, we have visited a shoe-making factory uh, where shoe uh, was produced by recyclable material. Later on, there is a network of schools called Bravo Schools in Action. It is a global network where people try to include as many schools and local communities as they can in around the world in order to take action for saving the environment, for the protection and preservation of the environment. Here you can see the High School of Elafonisos, where after discussing the SDGs, we participate now in the Bravo Schools in Action. You can see the map of the school, the map in of Europe, and in the middle, Elafonisos participating with two actions. First of all is the School of Elafonisos, the High School of Elafonisos, and the Municipality of Elafonisos uh, that uh, decided to participate after our plea, after uh, our urge. We want to uh, carry the light of environmental education. We have collaborated with uh, various schools of Samos. Well, the, this was a school for kids with special needs because those schools in Samos teach children with severe conditions. We collaborated with the third high school of Hios, with the high school of Paravola in Agrinio, near Agrinio. Our actions were presented in the Panhellenic School Network through the platform EME. They are presented here today in Alaphonso Echo Week. You can find them in the website of our school and in the world platform uh, Bravo Schools, I apologize, in action. Later on, we have also organized some other actions. We have 
convince the municipality to participate in the Bravo School in Actions. We have participated to the competition um, called Pandos Climatos, talking about the climate. You can also see artworks of the children commenting on overconsumption. You can see a picture with clothing items. Even if they are cheap, we will not buy them. We buy only the ones that we need in order to save the environment. We have discussed lengthly for the greenhouse effect. Kids did the research on that issue and then in the three-day visit to Athens, we have visited the Avianidio Foundation, the Natural History Museum, and the um, the shoemaking business. And last but not least, our proposals for the future. Those proposals are based on collaborative approach. We want to allow education to play its role, at least. We want to develop collaboration with other schools, with the municipality, in order to shape the citizens of the future that would respect the environment, respect human beings, and therefore maybe that world uh, might be a bit better. Thank you very much. I hope we haven't uh, bored you with a lot of details. Thank you very much uh, to the Lafonisos High School for the presentation. Uh, I'm very happy uh, because you're doing a very good job and uh, you are uh, transferring all the knowledge and the love for the for the na for nature and uh, that's a big responsibility because you have you have the um, the challenge to make them appreciate everything you do all your efforts. Uh, and uh, they are the future of the island, so it's something that is a really important role in the society right now. So thank you very much for making the effort to come here as well and to share with us all your, your actions. Yeah.